Hello everyone, this is Rashid Khan and you are watching Innovative English Learning. You can also watch this video in Urdu from the playlist. Today, we are going to talk about another very important topic in English, that is British versus American English. Remember, language learners normally face a lot of problems in differentiating between British and American English and they get confused that whether we are using British English or American English or whether we should use British English or American English. Remember, they are both English dialects or varieties of the same language. They are both standard dialects. So, we can use either of them, but there are slight differences between the pronunciation, spellings, vocabulary and grammar of these two dialects. So, in this video, we'll talk about these differences in detail and they will help you a lot in differentiating between British and American English. Let's see. Okay, as I said that uh, today we'll talk about British versus American English. So, here we have uh, four basic differences that we'll discuss in this lecture. That is, first, British versus American spellings. Second, British versus American forms of verbs. Third, British versus American vocabulary. And fourth, British versus American pronunciations. So, let's see. First, we have British versus American spellings. So, what are the differences between British and American spellings? The, f the first one is that in British English, we have AE, while in American, we have E. Many words that come from ancient Greek have an AE in British English, but only E in US English. For example, Eon, you can see we have AEON, while in American, we have EON. Aesthetic and aesthetic. Anemia and anemia. Anesthesia and anesthesia. Gynecologist, gynecologist. So here we have AE and here we have only E in American English. Pediatrician, similarly, pediatrician. So we have pedi yeah, we have AE here and pediatrician and only E in American English. Next we have double L and L. So British generally doubles the final L before adding ED, ING, ER, EST or OR in words with an unstressed final syllable. Remember, in British English, when we add these suffixes ED, ING, ER, EST or OR with a word that has an unstressed final syllable, so we uh, double the final L, while American does not double the final L. For, for example, we have cancel. So when we add A, T, I, O, N is a suffix. So the final L is doubled. Cancellation. In American, we have cancellation with single L or cancellation with double L. Label is when we add ED, labeled with double L. In American, labeled with single L. Modeling with double L and modeling with uh, single L in American. Traveler with double L in British and traveler with single L in American. But in contrast, British often uses a single L in words formed, formed from monosyllabic root word ending in double L in many of their derivatives, whereas American generally retains the double L. Remember, when there is a single word, single syllable word, like monosyllabic root and we add a suffix so British normally drop one L while American retain the double L for example enroll normally has double L in the end but when we add M-E-N-T is a suffix so British drop one L while American retains both L okay. fulfill so in British we have uh, one L in fill while in American we have double L fulfillment and fulfillment with double L in American. Installment with single L in British while installment with double L in American. Willful with single L in British. Willful with double L in American. Next we have ENCE versus ENSE. Many nouns that end in ENCE in British English end in ENSE. SE in the US. Remember, so in British we have ENCE -E, while in American we have ENSE -E, but only in nouns. UK English only uses ENSE -E for the corresponding verb but when we convert that noun into a verb in British English so British also uses ENSE -E instead of ENCE. -E. For example, license someone to do so here license is used as a verb rather than as a noun so in british english they also use e n s e rather than e n c e for example defense 
so we have e n c e in british defense we have e n s e n american license as a noun e n c e in british license e n s e n american offense offense pretense pretense next we have o e versus e so like a e above british english preserves the o e digraph and words derived from the classical languages while the us english has simplified it to e remember in british english we retain o e while in american that is converted or simplified into e only for example diarrhea so we have o e a and diarrhea we have e a only uh, gonorrhea and gonorrhea maneuver and maneuver so we have o e here and only e in american okay similarly in british english we use o u r while in american we use only o r for example abo and ab so we have o u r and o r ardo and ardo color and color labor labor neighbor neighbor so in all these words you can see that in american english we have o r while in british english we have o u r here are some more examples like in British we have ABBA in American ABBA. Similarly in British we have humor and humor with OR. Harbor with OUR and harbor in American with OR. Enamored with OUR and enamored with OR in American. Next we have RE versus ER. So in British we have RE while in American we have ER. Like you can see here in this example caliber. It ends with B R E in American it is caliber with E R. Similarly, fiber with B R E in British and fiber with B E R in American. Luster with T R E in British and Luster with T E R in American. Meter with E R T R E in British and meter with T E R in American. Similarly, center and center with T R E in British and T E R in American. Liter and liter. Again, the same case meager and meager. There are some more examples like meager and meager with R E and E R, fiber and fiber, kilometer and kilometer, liter and liter. Next, we have I Z E versus I S E and Y S E versus Y Z E. In fact, both the I Z E and I S E spellings are valid in the UK. Many British people use I S E spellings exclusively, but this is a convention, not a rule. Remember, in British English, we normally use I S E, but I Z E is also acceptable. But you cannot use I S E spellings in the US. So in US, we only use exclusively use I Z E. Similarly. By contrast, the YZE ending in words like analyze and paralyze is only acceptable in US English. But in US English, we only use YZE in uh, words like paralyze or analyze. But um, uh, British English use YSE uh, here like analyze and paralyze. You can see some examples here. Organize. So I S E and I Z E both are acceptable in British, but in American only I Z E. Similarly, maximize, maximize with I Z E or I S E both are acceptable in British, but I Z E is only permissible in American. Similarly, analyze with Y S E in British and Y Z E in American. Paralyze with Y S E in British and Y Z E in American. Catalyze and catalyze. Hydrolyze and hydrolyze. Civilize with I S E and civilize with I Z E. We have some more spelling differences like aluminium with I U M and aluminum in without I. Check with Q U E and check with C K here. Gray with E Y and gray with A Y. Jewelry with double L E and jewelry with single L and R. Mold with O U L D and mold with O L D. Percent with two uh, different uh, syllables while percent is one word. Plow and plow. Program with double M E and program with single M. Skeptical with C and skeptical with K. Tire with T Y R E and tire with T I R E in American. 
So we can summarize the spelling differences here that O-U-R is used in British and O-R in American. R-E is used in British while E-R is used in American. C-E is used in British while S-E is used in American. Similarly, we have Greek derived spellings I-S-E is used in British while I-Z-E is used in America. Y-S-E is used in British while Y-Z-E is used in America. O-G-U-E is used in British while O-G is used in America. Simplification of A-E and O-E. So in British we have A-E and O-E while American they convert A-E into E and O-E into E only. Next we have some forms of verbs uh, differences between the two uh, dialects. So for example we have burn uh, that is the infinitive so in past form British change it into burned or burnt while American change the past form into burned and burnt. Similarly past participle is similar in burnt and burnt and burned and burnt. So uh, burn that is similar in both uh, British and American English but bust, bust second form in British is bust but second form in American English is busted. Third form in British is bust while third form in American is busted. Similarly dive. Second form in British is dived while second form in American is dove or dived. Third form in American British English is dived while third form in American is dived too. Similarly dream so uh, second form in British is dreamed or dreamt or third form uh, second form in British uh, American English is dreamed or dreamt third form in British English is dreamed or dreamt and similarly third form in American is dreamed or dreamt but get in uh, second form of get is got in British English and second form of get is got in American as well but the third form in uh, British English is got while the third form of get in American English is gotten. So British is get got got while American is get got got. Similarly we have lean so in British English the second form is leaned or lent and second form in American is only leaned. Third form in British English is leaned or lent but it is leaned only in American English. Similarly learn is learned or learnt second form in British while learned in American only and British third form is learned or learnt while in American it is learned only. Similarly plead it is pleaded second form in British pleaded or pled is the second form in American. Similarly the third form in British is pleaded while in American English pleaded or pled is the third form. Prove proved 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 but remember the third form in British English is proved or proven so uh, the only difference is in third form so we have some other uh, forms of verbs as well uh, similarly spill and spelled spelt in British English or spelled in American spelled and spelt in British English third form and spelled in American English spoil so spoiled or spoiled in British English spoiled and spoiled so it is similar uh, almost similar in both dialects wake walk walk and waked so walk is the second form in british and walk or waked is the uh, second form in american english woken is the third form in british english and woken is the third form in american english next we have some uh, vocabulary differences between british and american english so let's see we have british trainer and american sneakers british jumper or pullover while American sweater British waistcoat while American vest British braces American suspenders British football American soccer British pitch American field British draw American tie British kit American uniform British motorway American highway or freeway or expressway British pavement American sidewalk British zebra crossing American crosswalk British road surface American pavement British lorry American truck British state car American station wagon British flight American apartment British lift american elevator 
British Gorget American Zucchini British Aubergine American Eggplant British Jacket Potato American Backed Potato British Runner Bean or String Bean American String Bean Only British Sweets American Candy British Candy Floss American Cotton Candy British Ice Lolly American Popsicle British Treacle American Molasses British Chips American French Fries British Crisps American Potato Chips British Biscuit American Cookie British Peckish American Hungry British Underground American Subway British Chemists American Drugstore or Pharmacy British Phone Box American Phone Booth British Q American Line British Nappy American Diaper British Dummy American Pacifier British Lou American Restroom or Bathroom British Telly American TV or Television British Takeaway American Take Out British Timetable American Schedule British Rubber American Eraser British Post American Mail British Z American Z British Full Stop American Period British Not or Zero American Zero British Postal Code American Zip Code British Block of Flats American Apartment Building British Flight American Apartment British Ground Floor American First Floor or Ground Floor British First Floor American Second Floor British The Plough American The Big Dipper Holiday in British Vacation in American Autumn and Fall or Autumn High Street or Main Street Diversion Detour Flyover Overpass Lorry Truck Road Surface Pavement Anti-clockwise Counterclockwise Norths and Crosses Tick Take Toe Clothes Beck Clothes Peg Clothes Pin Tea Towel or Tea Clothes Dish Towel Soviet and Napkin Holiday Vacation Spectacles, specs or glasses, eyeglasses or glasses, vest, undershirt, cocoa, stove, cash point, ATM, cool box, cooler, hand luggage, carry on, spanner, wrench, duvet, comforter, cello tape, Scotch tape, chest of drawers, dresser, car park, parking lot, bonnet, hood, British boot, while American trunk, British petrol, American case, bonnet, hood, boot, trunk, windscreen, windshield, Indicator, blinker or turn signal, tire in tire, difference in spelling, eraser, rubber, thumb take, drawing pin, mail, post, trash, trash cane and bin, attorney lawyer, solicitor, pharmacist, chemist or pharmacist, realtor or real estate agent, estate agent, mailman, postman. Okay, next we have British versus American pronunciation. Remember, we have rhotic versus non rhotic. What does that mean? Rhotic in British English, we do not pronounce R unless and until it is followed by a vowel. 
So, if there is a consonant after R, we do not pronounce it. While in American English, we pronounce R. For example, park. So, in British English, it is park. While in American, it is park. Horse and horse. Further and further. So, in British English, we do not pronounce R until it is followed by a vowel. While in American English, we pronounce it. Next, we have A sound versus A sound. So, in British, it is A sound while American replace it with A sound like path. In British English, path, American. Bath, British, bath, American. Pakistan, British, Pakistan, American. Next, we have O with rounded lips while A with spread lips. So, in British, we pronounce certain words with rounded lips while in American, we pronounce it with spread lips let's see like we have box in british and box in american we have chocolate in british while chocolate in american clock in clock cost in cost dog in dog gone in gone got in got hot in hot job in job Lot in lot, not in not, off in off, and we have some more words as well. We have some other words uh, with different pronunciation in British and American English, like it is either in British English and either in American English. It is neither in British English and neither in American English. Neighbor in American English, British English, while neighbor in in. American English. It is schedule in British English and schedule in American English. So we have a lot of more differences as well, but these are some of the common differences between British and American English. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you for watching Innovative English Learning. Hope you would have learned many things about uh, British and American English and it will help you a lot in differentiating between British and American English. So keep watching Innovative English Learning and do share it with your friends. Take care of yourself.